everyone welcome to another reading vlog it is april 9th i think it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and i just finished a book so let's talk about it i don't want to spoil anything so i'm not going to give any specifics in my previous clips i had said how the main character was coming off as you know she was whining and she was complaining and i just found her annoying and i felt that way throughout the rest of the book it didn't change for me and on top of that the plot and the second half of the book let me just say it was it was very implausible what was happening and the situation our main character got into just seemed so unlikely and just impossible that it was really hard for me to even care or feel anything for her. When I read a thriller or a suspense novel, I need it to be something that could actually happen. That's part of the thrill for me is, you know, reading a horrible story and part of the fear and the enjoyment is coming from it, you know, actually being something that could happen to me. And this book was something that I was like, never in a million years would I, would I think that scenario would even be possible. So it really took away a lot for me. So unfortunately, this book just fell flat for me. I ended up giving this a three stars on Goodreads and I might have to bump it down to a two because the longer I'm sitting and digesting everything I just read, it's just making me realize that I really just didn't enjoy this book. And if this is your favorite book, I'm happy for you. That's wonderful. This is my opinion. This book just really didn't work for me. It could work for other people, but if you're someone like me and you need a thriller, that's possible and it's something that could happen i wouldn't recommend this book if you're in for something that's just you know very quick easy to read this could be for you the book i'm going to pick up next is the lost apothecary by sarah penner i don't know too much about this and if you haven't noticed i do like to go into stories mostly blind i try to you know i'll read the synopsis really quickly just to see if it's even something i would enjoy but other than that i really don't do too much research into what it's about i like to kind of be surprised as i'm reading it so this one is the one that my aunt is reading so i'm gonna read it so then her and i can talk about it now that i've given you a reading update and you know what i'm reading let's go ahead and get into the vlog It's April 11th. It's about 8.30 in the morning. As you saw, I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday, so I just wanted to talk to you quickly about the books that I got. I got two very talked about books, so I'm sure you've heard of them. They'll be nothing new. The first one is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This book, as I said, it's very widely talked about, so I don't feel like I need to give any type of synopsis. I have seen this book a lot on my Instagram feed in the last week in particular. So I feel like the universe is telling me just to get it already. <laughs> so I have read Circe by Madeline Miller and I loved it. One of the things I'm a really big fan of is Greek mythology. And while I don't know too much about it, I know enough to keep up with stories that have that as a main element. So I have a feeling I'm really gonna enjoy this read. The next book I got is another very known book and this is Dune by Frank Herbert. I know absolutely nothing about this book. I know nothing about the plot. Literally, zilch. But my brother Philip recommended this book to me. He just read it and really enjoyed it. I think he said he gave it either a 4.5 or a 5 out of 5 stars. There's my daughter. You can hear her. <laughs> but he said that he thinks I would really like it if I gave it a shot. And while I definitely am intimidated by the whole book, you know, just in and of itself, the whole world and the characters and the language and all that stuff, I really want to try to give this a try. Go ahead, Aria. Go ahead, tell them. Do you have a book review you wanted to share? So those books are both on my TBR cart. In the meantime, I'm still working my way through The Lost Apothecary. I've gotten to page, I believe, 60, and I am loving this book. We're actually heading down to my in-law's house, 
and they have a beautiful property that I can't wait to read on. So I will make sure to include some of those clips and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I have to film this clip with my daughter screaming in the background, so just bear with me. I'll try to be quick. So while I was at my in-laws, I managed to get a good chunk of reading done in The Lost Apothecary. I got to page 124, and I just want to spend the rest of my day doing nothing. Thank you. Dada. I just want to spend the rest of my day reading this book. It is so lovely. So we're in two different timelines, three different perspectives, and I'm finding myself equally enjoying each perspective, which is very, very rare for me. Usually if it's a dual perspective, I'm liking one more than the other. This one, I'm equally enjoying all three. So I'm gonna go hang out with my daughter, get some more reading done. I'm gonna end the vlog here and make it just a short little weekend vlog. And I will see you guys next week for my next reading vlog. Bye guys.